There you are, hiding from me again. First underneath the hood, now in the glove box. Come on, get out of here and let's get started on this next video. Howdy y'all, Fast Force 289, welcome back. So in this video, in case you haven't figured it out by now, we're working on a glove box of mine, 1976 Ford truck. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got and get started and jump into it. Okay, so this is the glove box at its current state. This is an all original glove box, it's the paper style. It's tore, there's literally like three screws holding the whole thing in anymore. It's just, it's, it's just gone, you know, it's, it's had, it's seen better days. So I ordered a new one to replace this one with. So let's take a look at the new one that I got and we'll get into removing this one and putting the new one in. Okay, so this is what I ordered. I got it from CJ Pony Parts. Here's the glove box and it's a Repops brand. So there's the part number and everything and what it fits. And it's actually made in USA, so that's nice to see. Uh, I've heard good things about Repops. As a matter of fact, a good buddy of mine, Jesse Hardy at Six Speed Media. If you ain't following his channel, go check him out. He's got a 77 Ford truck. And he ordered a Repops headliner for his truck, and it was just like the factory. So I'm very pleased with the glove box. Now, I did order the cardboard style. Again, they do make plastic ones. I just personally don't like the plastic ones. There's nothing wrong with them. If you like them, that's great. And they're great if you have like a water leak going in your dash somehow which obviously you should fix it but i'm saying like if you have one and maybe you're on a budget and you can't fix it right now plastic's great for that my truck don't leak i don't really have any issues with any stuff like that so and i like just the originality of the cardboard ones or paper however you want to call it. they're not literally paper but i like the cardboard ones they're just they're cool they're old school you don't see that style anymore and i just really really like it so that's why i ordered an exact original replica of one and so, yeah, we're going to pull the old one out and get this one put in and see how she looks. Okay, so what you want to do is, first you got this strap. you got to remove it. There's a screw that goes in from the side here. I just take that screw out, let the door hang down. Then you got to screw here, a screw here, 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 and then two across the top to hold this cardboard glove box in. As you can see it's already loose like i said literally three screws holding it in and then i got my other one here i just kept there to keep up with the screw all right now getting this out is going to be the trick because i believe they put them in from the back side at the factory and i'm not trying to pull my entire ac box out just to pull a glove box out The good thing about cardboard is you can flex it. It has some give to kind of collapse it a little bit to put it in here. And I'll slide out just like that. And now we are out with the old and now we can go in with the new. Check that out, I just found this in this glove box. The original date and when this glove box was produced, the part number that Ford used and everything. Okay, so just for sheer curiosity, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of original and new. So looking at it, it looks very, very close to the original. Like you can't really tell a difference. Like it's a, Obviously, mine is, is tore up, so it's not, you can't tell you, like, this is gone, this is gone. But if you match it, like, this hole, and that hole's the same, your, which, again, they're about, they're about gone. But you can see the staples here, you see the staples there. There's a lot of similarities here between the two, which is good. See the way they're folded, they ran across the bottom, exactly the same, original. Got the original here, the way it's designed. Come over to the new one. It's the exact same setup, the exact same way, nothing different. 
And again, another side view, see exactly everything's the same. I mean, they even copied, you know, the way it's split here, like the original staple and everything. Two staples for each one, just like the original. Except for that one, obviously, is one, but, you know, same thing. And then Steven Goon got the same style of clips that they used. So very, very cool. So now let's go get this one put in the truck and see how it looks. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Okay, so same steps to put it back in, but we gotta be more careful with this one, obviously, because we don't want to tear it, so. I'm gonna try to just finesse it in here the best I can. like so it says it's obviously a tighter fit than the original because it's new so you just got to be careful and take your time and work it it will go in obviously alrighty so we got I went ahead and got it installed because there's no point it's the same procedure to remove it as it is, or same procedure to install it as it is to remove it now I will say I had to kind of finesse it a little bit. You had to move it kind of back and forth. This is a new box that's so never been installed. So it was kind of a tight fit to get the holes to line up a little bit, but it weren't bad. You know, once you get everything lined up, it screws right in like it's supposed to. And uh, yeah, so, and now I actually have all of my screws holding it in and it's nice and solid. And this one here is almost like flushed the way it goes in like this. The old one was so worn out, it like dropped down. So it seemed like it had like a drop down to it. So, so it was definitely something uh, different. I've never seen a nice new one. So, but yeah, I'm happy to have that done. I could put everything back in my glove box, organize it and be good to go. All right, guys, well, that's all there is for this one. So it was, like I said, quick, easy install, a good upgrade. And I think that box was about $30, I think from CJ Pony Parts, $30, $35, something like that. They do make plastic ones, like I stated before, and I think they were roughly about $10 more. So $40, $45. So, and I just didn't really want the plastic one. They're fine. Like I said, there's nothing against them. I, I've never really heard anything bad about them. I mean, plastic, there's nothing wrong with plastic. They, Ford used plastic in their cars in the 60s. That, that Fairlane over there has a plastic, uh, sorry, it's a gearbox, a plastic glove box. So they, you know, I don't, I don't have anything against plastic, but it's just, for me, my personal preference, when it comes to these old trucks, I love those old style, just old school, factory, just cool cardboard paper type glove boxes. I think they're just really cool. So that's just my personal opinion, my personal preference. The one benefit to the plastic I will say is you'll probably never have touched again. This one, I mean, I shouldn't have to really worry about it in my lifetime. So, because the other one lasted this long, I, you know, I probably, I probably won't have to worry about it ever again anyway. So it really doesn't matter either way you go, I guess, but I just like the paper better anyway. So that's all there is for this one. Like I said, quick, easy install, nice upgrade and world of difference. Like day and night, you can see between the old and the new now. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Hope y'all liked the video. <clears throat> But anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all. If y'all like the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'd appreciate that as well. And uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you. And that's all there is for this one. So until next time, I'll see you in the next one. So take care.